Are you intentional in everything that you do day to day? In this video, I wanna break down a few different concepts and thoughts to give you so that you can take those and create a life that you really wanna live. Let's dive into it. One of the most interesting things that I see people doing all the time is things that they hate. They simply do not either one, recognize that they're doing things that they hate all day, or two, understanding the implications that doing something that you don't like, wearing something you don't like, eating something you don't like day to day actually has on your mentality, on your willpower, and on your mindset, and you know, overall on the quality of life that you actually have. How do you recognize then you are doing something that you hate? Well, number one, your mood's gonna drop every time you do it. For instance, I do this because I'm a human and it takes a while for me to realize things. I have this pair of shoes that I wear everywhere because they're better for my feet, but I really don't like the way they look or the way that I feel in those shoes. And I wear them almost every single day. How do you think that feedback system, okay, I put the shoes on. Now I feel bad the whole time that I'm walking in the shoes, or at least not as good at that as, as I could have, where I can just go and invest $100 into a nice pair of shoes, which then I feel really confident and a lot better day today about myself. And this isn't to say that I think other people think that these shoes look weird. If I actually don't like the shoes and I know there's a better alternative that can last a lot longer, then it makes more sense to actually get the new shoes, even if it's spending money, in order to then have a better daily setup. So the first thing to do is to really break down methodically throughout your day. How do you do things? What do you do? Where's the majority of your time spent? Are you in a car or driving to and from work and you fucking hate your commute? Because if that is happening, Happening, you got to figure out either one, how to make the commute better, two, how to forego the commute completely. That's something that is happening every single day to you. And most people don't get worn down because it happens one time, just like, oh, I bent over and I threw my back out. Death by a, pay a thousand paper cuts. That's the way that we all go. And it's these little things that add up over time. So number one, go through your whole routine, identify what is actually not serving you, what you really just don't like. And then number two, throughout the day, when you do certain things, take a mental note of what happened? What do you feel? Do you have a response? Do you not like something? Do you go hit your workout and you're pissed after every single time because you do this one thing or you try to show off doing this one thing because people are watching you in the gym? No one's watching you, by the way. I know it always seems that way, but no one's really watching you. So figure out your emotional response to that. After a cup of coffee, do you always feel anxious or do you feel actually energized and have less stress? These things build up over time. And we often don't realize that the 35 times we checked our cell phone led to the decreased mood, which then led to how we feel now. And so by simply figuring out the emotional response that you get from everything you do throughout the day, you'll be able to then design a life that you really want to have. Try those two different exercises out and we will talk soon. Drop in the comments below whatever you find out about that. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so you get notified when videos like this come out in the future.